posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Sagittarius, it's Purple Haze. I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. Here to give you guys a general reading as well as a sensual sexual reading. So stay tuned all the way to the end. I'll leave timestamps and all that. If you hear a fan, I am hot as hell. So y'all gonna have to just bear with me. Okay? Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. For every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Sagittarius's listening to this reading. What we have so far? More clarity when it comes to family um, as far as what was needed to make you guys become in a better place, okay? It took for someone to feel... It took for someone to experience their own karma in order for them to realize like you know what i need to change for the sake of family i feel like there's someone here within your family or someone that you're close to sagittarius who realized that they had to go through this in order for things to get better between um you and them okay let's see um you have yin yang in reverse and envy okay so you're no longer just sitting back and like dang i wish that was me or i wish i had this I wish I had this certain amount of money. You're no longer doing that. You're going after what you want. You're no longer feeling like you wish you had anything and it's impossible. You're going after everything. Everything that you want is Sagittarius. Everything that you want is going to happen. You're going to get it. You just have to work on your self-esteem. There's a lot of you whose self-esteem is holding you back. Once you work on your self-esteem and be you, be your authentic self and not worry about what people think... You're going to get everything that you want, that you wanted. Action in reverse, okay. Financial constraints, community, woman holding a coin. Okay, so basically, Sag, things may be going a little bit slow for you as, as far as financially. Things could be going slow, but at the same time, it'll be worth it. Continue to save, continue to budget, and continue to, to make sure that your money is well spent or spent on things that are worth it okay just make sure you save because you never know just save for a rainy day community card okay you could be trying to save for okay you're trying to celebrate with some friends or there's going to be a link up with some friends and you feel like oh let me save my money so i could be you know available okay well, yep woman holding the coin getting your finances together okay but there's still some type of what are you worried about sagittarius what are you still worried about Why do you feel okay so there's a lot of you who are still worried about being taken advantage of you guys have been through something traumatic or very um very deep to the point where there are times when you just get even when things are going great and you want to do so much for other people you still fear being taken advantage of because you're so nice you're so giving sometimes you feel like you're so giving and so nice but you don't get that in return and that's what bothers you like you feel like you're too nice sometimes people don't deserve you it's you made a decision you're making a decision you're trying to decide on whether or not you should how you should deal with these people who drain you they're the situation that drains you and you're struggling on how to deal with it it has a lot to do with someone who you really cared about so this person could possibly have hurt you but plot twist plot twist with the healer of the ages you're, you're still going to heal from this situation you may feel like this situation drained you and this person hurt you but surprise surprise to, to both you and them this is also a situation that's going to help heal you for the better okay door to spirit fifth chakra archangel gabriel okay connecting more spiritually there's a deep connection coming and i see this car standing now too there's a deep connection okay that's some that someone does not speak on there's someone who you connect with hold on there's someone who you um connect with spiritually but you're not speaking on it you guys aren't speaking or you're not speaking on it they're not speaking on it somebody's not their throat chakra is closed when it comes to 
this spiritual connection and but there's a lot of love between you two a lot of love you care about each other a whole lot okay someone here is being immature though that's the immature part the immaturity is why you guys did not work out someone was too busy being immature even though you're into oh oh y'all are conflicted sag you are conflicted you feel like this person is immature. That's why you don't speak up on how you feel. Or vice versa. They probably feel like you're immature. They don't speak up because of that. But somebody's intuition here is still like pulling towards them. And it has a lot to do with passion. You probably, you guys probably had a lot of good sex. That's what it is. Mm. Magician of the mirror in reverse and all tied up. Mm. You, didn't, you didn't think this person... No sorry no it's the other way around this person did not think that you could do this to them like they didn't expect to be so attached to you they've never felt this way about you about anybody else like you come on i'm a sagittarius so i mean yes <laughs> let me stop so basically what i'm trying to say is it's this person that feels like they can't shake you like what is it about you and why they can't shake you they cannot think of you pissed them off but they cannot shake how they feel about you. They miss that union. They feel like you guys could have... Uh, they feel like you guys had missed the opportunity together. They wanted to do something together, but you guys didn't get that chance, okay? Let's move on to the next uh, universal love spread. Let's see. Okay, what else is going on for Sag? Relationship in reverse, retreat in reverse. Huh. So, you guys no longer, okay, there's, as far as relationship goes, for those of you who could possibly be single, you don't want to commit, you don't want to commit at all. It seems like that's the last thing you want to do. I mean, that's what they say about Sagittarius anyway, that... Um, they don't commit or they find it hard to commit. It depends on the, it depends. But in this particular case here, you no longer, you don't want to, you don't want, you are not rushing to settle down. You are not rushing to commit because it seems like every time you finally, okay, there was someone, there is someone or there was someone who probably just fed you a lot of BS. Like, oh, you know, you're my soulmate. We're going to be together, blah, 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 blah. And you listened to them. You believed it. Only for them to lie. Like it didn't go the way that they that you expected it to go. And that has a lot to do with why you are not rushing to commit again. But they're still loving you. Sagittarius, who are you fooling? You still got love in your heart. You still want love. Even though it may not seem like that on the outside. That's what you want. It's just that you don't want to waste your time. And I feel you. You don't want to waste your time or your body. Some of you have um, been having sex a lot less. A lot less. Like, maybe you guys aren't having sex right now. Let's see. Heaven on earth in reverse. And soulmate. Okay. Oh, another one fell. There's someone in particular who you felt like could have possibly been your soulmate. And this is that one person who you basically gave yourself to okay and let's see miracles healing sounds so basically sag you're um hoping for a miracle you are you are like in need or you're like really it's crazy see that's why i said who y'all fooling you don't want to commit you're not looking forward to commit anytime soon but at the same time you feel like if I do commit to somebody, it's gonna be a it's gonna take a miracle because that person's gonna to have to make you feel good mentally and spiritually, not just sexually. So you feel like I want this, but it's gonna to have to be a miracle because right now I don't see it happening. Okay. Let's move on to the rose spread and touch on how is Sagittarius sexually. Okay. And we're gonna go on from there. What time is it? Because I do not have that much time, y'all. Okay. Gotta get my children. Basically, Sagittarius. Let's see what you're dealing with or how you are sexually. How you feeling um, in regards to intimacy. 
what's the issue, what's something that you want, etc., etc. Okay. Now we got this here. One, two, three, four. Hold on now. <laughs> Five. Okay. Six. Seven. All right. Sagittarius, when it comes to like the root of it, how you feel, what's something that's really bothering you emotionally when it comes to sex is you're not ready. Like I said, a lot of you are not having sex right now or as much sex as you used to. And it has a lot to do with you not being ready. Um, you're not being ready for like the consequences. You consider them consequences when you have sex. Like when you when you have sex with people, you feel like it's always something like soon as you give up your body they start acting a fool they start either acting like too attached or not attached enough or they just get too comfortable and then, and then the minute you take that away you take the sex away then all hell breaks loose now they want to say how they really feel um now how your past when it comes to how you felt in regards to how sex used to make you feel in the past you were very, you probably were hypersexual. You were very impatient. Like, um, hmm. You didn't like to wait for it. <laughs> Just keeping it real. You didn't like to necessarily wait. You would get cranky if you didn't have sex for a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then, number three, your past. Now, what you would do about it, your frustrations and all that, you would just lie. You'll probably lie and act like there's nothing wrong with you. Or you will lie and act like that's not it. Like maybe someone will be like, you probably just want some. Or you probably just, you know, and you're denying it. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, advice as far as when it comes to how you are sexually and what's, how you should deal with it now. Stop lying about, listen, let me, let me have a heart to heart with you, Sagittarius. It's not nobody's business who you have sex with. It's not nobody's business for you not having sex with. So you don't have to lie about it. You can simply say it's none of your damn business. And if you are having sex with them, if you want to put it out there, you can. I feel like a lot of you spared people's feelings when it came to that. Like, for instance, you probably was dealing with someone, an ex or maybe a current boyfriend. And you had to basically lie about your sex life to make them feel good. Oh my gosh, my phone died. You had to lie about, yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. You had to lie about your sex life to make them feel good. No, forget that. Okay, now how you feel now as far as how your sex life is going? Victory. A lot of you are having, you feeling, okay, there are either someone that you've met that makes you feel po more positive about having sex or in general, the like, you feel good about your sex life right now. Even if you're not having sex, you feel good about it because you feel like it's not a distraction. And if you are... You feel like it's different this time okay now as far as where the situation is heading where are you heading sexually um someone's gonna make you feel real vulnerable you're gonna be doing things that you didn't even want to do because you just this this strong stubborn person and you refuse to do certain things well you have a weakness for somebody there is there is someone in particular who makes you feel weak when you're around them but it's not necessarily weak if you feeling vulnerable okay now, what's your advice as far as what's to come, Sagittarius? Um, with the door romance in reverse, stop doubting. Just because you're not ready and just because you feel like it's not going to happen right now, usually things happen when you least expect it, okay? Just because you don't see anybody coming, just because you don't crave anybody does not mean that it won't happen tomorrow. Everything changes within a day, a week, a month, a year. So don't keep constantly saying, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. You may feel these certain things, but the universe may have something differently for you. Like, some, like a, again, don't be so quick to just put that guard over your heart because you never know who's coming along and you don't want to come off cold to them and give them mixed signals, okay? But that's what I have for you guys, Sagittarius. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'm in a place supreme and pure and free